Hey guys, um, today I wanted to talk to you about a mushroom compost. Um, we actually have a bunch of garden beds here that we've made. Um, they're covered in leaves, but under that we have mushroom compost. So I wanted to share my experience with that. So in the past, in other gardens, we've used the black cow. However, we were in a hurry and the black cow was a lot more expensive and I've heard about um, the mushroom compost. So we decided to give that a try. So here we are in I think week two and a half and the stuff that is growing is stuff that I bought already growing and um, I had some seeds I started that I've planted in here but all the seeds that I planted directly into the compost, the mushroom compost, before um, before I added the leaves, nothing came up. Nothing. Um, just, it was about two weeks I've given it to grow before we added the leaves. And the only thing that I saw come up was a little cucumber plant. I don't know if you can see, but there's a little cucumber plant right there. Or no, not cucumber, that was cantaloupe. A little bit of cantaloupe. Well, I realized the only reason that came up is because I had some black topsoil dirt that I had just randomly poured right there. And that is the only place that any of the seeds came up that I've planted so far. So, we are going to have to do an experiment and see if we can't fix this somehow. So I bought some black cow dirt again um, that I just got at the store and I'm going to try to mix it in here um, along with getting a leaf mulcher and breaking up some of the leaves that we already have. This is kind of the back to Eden kind of type thing we were trying to do and we've done it in other places and it's worked well even in the boxes. However, I've always used the um, black cow as my main dirt. So, uh, lesson learned, mushroom compost on its own is no good. And um, that is the rest of our pile over there. Started off pretty big and it was a lot cheaper, but it's not worth it if it doesn't even work. So, I just wanted to share that with you guys today to save you some trouble um, if you decide to do a box garden, um, not to use the mushroom compost, or if you do, to at least mix it with something else. So that is the next thing we're going to do. And I will come back to you and tell you our experience with that and see if we were able to fix it and hopefully grow seeds in our garden. So, and my plants aren't looking that great. So kind of disappointing but it's okay. We'll give it another shot and hopefully we can fix this problem. So I will be back to share with you how it went. 